Hello, hello, this is Josh from Painting by Josh. I'm just going to give you a rundown on the way I repaint or recoat uh, a timber deck. So, what I have got going on, guys, the 175 deck brush. Okay, this is a must. I know a lot of people uh, they like to do their decks with a decking pad. I'm not real a fan of this. One reason is it does not penetrate in between the decks. So all in between these guys, you want to make sure that your brush gets in there and you want to make sure you get a nice coating on that. Um, there's no real point just recoating the surface and you've got the sides, they're going to be left bare or they're not going to have the efficient coat that they, uh, they what they do really need to achieve that perfect finish and so the deck is going to last as long uh, as it should. And this is what I am putting on also. The integrated ultra deck guys. So we're going to be using this on the deck. We're just going to be putting two coats. It has previously been previously has been uh, Coated, so all we're doing is refreshing it, putting a couple of coats on. I do recommend to do this every six to 12 months. That way you're gonna keep it looking fresh, you're gonna keep it protected, and hey, it's just gonna look 100% fire all the time. And that's what, you, that's what we're after, right? First up, guys, you just want a thin blade that you can get between the boards, because you've got bits of rock, uh, leaves anything that um, have got stuck between so all you want to do now is just go between them all push it all through or we'll scrape it all out and then what we'll, what we'll do we'll go through give it all a blow down okay so we've got all dust uh, bits of debris and everything off the deck and then we're pretty much ready to uh, start coating usually guys if it was a rough surface or anything like that I would go over the whole thing with the dustless murker but in saying that we're only going to recoat it guys, it's really dry, it doesn't need sanding at all. Uh, I was going to drag out the sander but it's really smooth as is so it just needs a couple of nice coats and we're ready to rock. So scrape all the bits out first and then we'll blow it down. So all you want to do is just make sure, just go through like this. bits of sticks and leaves and everything like that so you just want to get all these out first and then we'll give it all a good blow down guys so the table too so the table weighs about 100 kilos <coughs> so what I've done I've grabbed some rocks just grabbed a couple of little rocks like this guys and all I've done is just lift it up and chocked it. So on each side we're sitting up about two inches and that way we can get our brush underneath it so it's completely still coated uh, and then we can just bring the brush um, pole straight to it when we're coating. Happy days. Alright guys, now that we've scraped everything out between all the boards, we've got rid of all the leaves and rocks and sticks that have um, wedged themselves in between so when you're going over the deck too and you leave all them all it does it leaves a big build up of the clear uh, and it doesn't dry to a clear surface what it'll do it will, it will leave a brown thick um, dried area wherever it's built up so when you go along it will catch anything that's left in between um, and that way yeah you're not you're not going to get that nice flowed finish that you should be getting She's all blown down guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly grab out the murker 
there's a couple of stained areas where the pots have been. If you don't have a dustless sander, you can always just use an orbital. Um, if you haven't got an orbital sander, you can always just use a bit of hand sandpaper. Uh, it's not so important. It's only a little mark, guys. The pot's going to go back there. It's going to mark it pretty much straight away again. We just want to make it um, less visible. Hopefully with the murka, it will completely sand back. But then in that way too, you don't want to completely sand back the original coating what's there because then we go, we're going to go over it. It's going to show from where the spot that we completely sand it back to the rest of the coating that's still existing on. So, like I said guys, we don't want to sand the whole thing back. That's not what we're here for. That's not what we want to do. There's no reason why we'd want to sand back a whole deck after it's already been recoated. That's just um, a waste of time, really. There's no reason why you can just put um, decking oil straight back over the existing coatings. It's not, as long as it's not flaking um, and blistered, as long as it's solid on there, we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag the murker in, uh, and I'll show you a bit of sanding with that, and then we'll get it done. And I'll give it a quick last blow down to eliminate any dust, and then I'll start putting on the coating. We'll start turning out, setting up the murker. Just going to put a 120 pad on there. One twenty Abernet. Let's get it done. Dustless to set up to a vacuum extraction system, self cleaning or auto cleaning. So that's what that big bang is that gives itself a bit of a push and cleans itself. So here we are, guys. We're just going to go through now. I've just got, like I said, the 120 pad on. Just going to quickly give it a rundown. We've got some stained marks where the existing pots have been. They're going back up there, so we're not too worried. I just want to make sure everything 100%. So let's get it done. quickly take this up and show you exactly what I'm doing guys here we are here so I'm just going through as you can see there's a bit of a stained area so doesn't take much go through just a light sand you don't want to take it back to the bare completely bare um, we just that's pretty much it guys that's how far I want to go with it. Um, you'll see once I've coated it, you won't even really be able to see it. Just little marks like this. Only takes a sec. Even with hand sandpaper, it's not going to take too long. But I'm just going to quickly run over it, make sure everything's right. We've got a little one over here that we're going to get done. Um, and then to work and wa walking back it gets better as you go because the sun obviously you get maximum sun coming down where are you there you are so we get you coming down anyway on pretty much half the deck the other half's re in really good condition so we're just going to keep it up keep on this we'll make sure everything's 100 percent 100 percent it is a natural stain guys, what I want to do, no matter what, I like to stir every drum, not give it a shake, I like to give it a good stir with a stirring stick, there will be a lot of settlement, especially on the bottom of these clear drums, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the truck and get it out and bring it back and give it a stir. I did this stuff in my life. That's the best thing 
Always pull from the back of the drum, guys. Keeps everything nice and clean. And we'll get out the, the bucket now too. So we're ready to go. Always put your leads back on your drums. We'll put this out of the sun until we're ready to use it. I'm just going to go through now, guys, and give it all a big, all the, all the cutting around the edges. You should be able to see. She's really dry, guys. You don't want to bring it too far out. You only want to bring it out three or four inches. guys you'll see from there what are the process that I'm doing but I'll just go through now give it all a good cut guys and then I will roll it Not ideal to be doing this in the sun, but it's okay. As long as you move quick. As long as you move quick. Can't go wrong, right? That's the first coat anyway. I'm just gonna go through now and I'll get it all brushed brushed in. Always start from obviously um, close to the door and work ourselves back. <laughs> there has been a lot of times over the years where I've quickly started without thinking about it and before you know it I've blocked myself in somewhere so it's always good to work out a, a way you want to move and get it done. Happy days. You don't want to dunk it in there guys, say so you've um, covered it all the way up to the stock, you don't want that. What you want to do is dip it in two to three inches, give it a bit of a, bit of a push down. <laughs>
All right, there you go. That's the first coat on it, guys. Uh, it's really, um, really dry and really hot, so I had to move really quick to get it. But as you can see, that's the first coat. It's not going to take long for me to before uh, I'm ready to start start putting on a second. I will leave it good half an hour or so though but loving it right we're going through again now yeah, guys putting on the final coat Done. There you are guys, there's the process on start to finish on recoating a deck, a timber deck. It was really dry in a bad way. I wouldn't mind coming back in about three months and putting another two coats on. Uh, and then cut it every six months after that just to keep it looking fresh and rejuvenated that's what we want uh, thank you for all tuning in and watching um, watching the process on how I recode a timber deck guys Thank you very much for uh, watching on my IG, my Facebook and my YouTube TVs. Much love.